So before we install the new Wi-Fi card, we might as well just unplug anything that's gonna get in the way there on the back of the PC. Also unplug the power so we don't mess anything up before opening up the side of the tower. I would also use a can of air to clean any dust out of the tower while you have it open. Just go ahead and take off the old antennas there in the back of the old Wi-Fi card. Then all you have to do is just remove one screw there on the inside. Now on my old card, it just has one plug to take out. Then and the whole thing should just pop right off of the motherboard. You can see my old card was a little different. Luckily, the new Wi-Fi card comes with another cable that will actually replace the cable that I'm currently using. One end goes into the motherboard and the other end into the Wi-Fi card. Luckily, mine's pretty easy to get to. I believe it's the second spot there on the motherboard that you can see once you unplug the old Wi-Fi card. Yours might be slightly different depending on which kind of PC you have. Then the new card should slide right into the same spot as the old Wi-Fi card and you should hear a nice clicking sound which means it's in all the way put in the screw on the side and that's pretty much it for that part you may want to tuck some of the wires down out of the way just to keep things nice and tidy go ahead and screw the new antennas there on the back of the tower and then you can angle those up just how you like once you power back on the pc you'll probably want to connect an ethernet cable so that you can update the drivers it comes with a mini disc but most people probably won't have anything to read that disc anyways Plus, more than likely, they're going to be outdated drivers. If you go ahead and search for device management down by the start menu, you should see a section called network adapters. Now on my system, I didn't see any Wi-Fi card, but under other devices, right below that, there was a network controller with a warning sign. Then I just right clicked on that, chose update driver, let it search automatically for the drivers, then search for updated drivers on Windows update. Then it works like any other Windows update. On mine it had several driver updates so I just checked all of them to update everything and just doing that seemed to do the trick on my system. Yours doesn't have that same kind of network controller to update. It may just be as simple as going to network adapters, right click on the Wi-Fi card or each network adapter and choose update driver. Overall this was a lot easier than I expected and my only concern really was with the drivers. Luckily with my Windows 10 PC I didn't have any issues shoes with those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.